Welcome to Frostpunk. This is going to be a survivor run with Golden Path and Lost Souls. So basically, I'm going to save everyone. I'm not going to pass any severe laws. And nobody except scouts on special operations will die. So I can't actually save the scouts 100% of the time. That's how it works, so let's just get into it. If you haven't played this game, I would suggest that you turn this off, go buy it, play it. This game came out a few years ago. I've only recently discovered it. I've really enjoyed it. And uh, let's go. So we're going to go a new home and survivor mode. I'm going to skip all the cutscenes, obviously. Mm, don't waste your time. Um, so, we are to start off with, we're going to start collecting the wood and pass a law immediately. Alright, so to start off with, we're going to And the law. Emergency shift immediately and we're going to go into extended shifts tomorrow. Alright, so all of these three. 12 on this and 8 on the coal. This will be just enough to keep the generator powered over, um, over, over the course of the night. Nothing more to do. We're going to wait until 6pm. I'm not entirely sure how I need to break down these videos. Probably by hour, though, maybe by week. Alright, 6 p.m. is when the shift ends. This is just to allow me to um, draw a road. That's going to be where I want it to be. Now we cancel this. Cancel the road. Did I go too much? I'm not sure. So, workshop and two health. A couple of medical posts, and now we wait to about 8 p.m. and we fire it up. Denied. So, as you see, we got 69. Coal, six to fire it up, and another 60 over the next 10 hours. We're gonna hit the overdrive as well. Now, the reason I do that, if you hit on select one of these guys, you can see temperature in home comfortable even though there's no home because the generator is so warm. Alright, let's uh, swap out from this and this and this into... First tech, sawmill. We'll, we're gonna need a lot of wood, so... Two medical posts should be sufficient to cover our sick for today.
Alright, time for a new law. This is vital. You must have extended shifts for um, the workshop specifically. Do not skip the workshop. You can miss anything else, but not the workshop. Alright, now, you will notice... Okay, everyone is healthy. If one of these was not healthy, you'd have to swap them out. You cannot afford to have one engineer less as far as efficiency is concerned. At least not for one workshop. 20% is unacceptable. Um, is an unacceptable penalty for research. Alright, I think that's it. Now, we haven't built any shelter, as we've be wasted all of our wood on everything we've built here. It's not really much, but it'll help us tomorrow. And with the um, overdrive, the generator can keep everyone at nice and comfortable, even without the, um, the tents. Alright, remember to shut down the generator once um, once the day ends, or the night ends. Overdrive as well. We're gonna need overdrive every night, so try not to bring it too high. Waiting after 6am to put in these guys means that everything else will be taken first. So only one out of the seven assigned here are actually present, the others are in treatment. There's a lot of jungling here. Now, during the day, I'm not entirely sure why, I'm, I think it's the metal posts, but you can still build roads, and we're gonna take advantage of that as soon as the shift swap happens at 8 a.m. about here all right this should do like so all right So far, so good. Now we're gonna need a road over here to build a gathering post for the school. Once again, we set up a building so that we have a nice straight line where the road needs to be. As you can see, I can build one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more buildings here, and the um, the roads go in about a third in each direction, but uh, not not entirely, but close enough. Ten wood. Cancel that. We're gonna need the, the wood for later. Next up, beacon. to be consumed and we can start building. Don't forget to turn on the generator.
so this will be for the coal and we'll, we're gonna need a bit more food but um, this should suffice all right now we can start building the tents don't forget the overdrive You're gonna need at least a couple of tents, as um, if this content rises too high, they're gonna protest, and it's gonna mess up the building, so. Alright, let's pull them off the um, gathering. So new building can start or can builders can be assigned to construction until midnight so as long as one of these finishes this one of these is going to start all right so this one started already so as soon as this one finishes this one is starting so it's going to be built and so if we can get one more but though we're not going to get one more all right this this is going to be enough I go for child shelters, obviously, because golden path. Hear me, hear me. New law in the city. You must build a uh, cookhouse on day two, as on day four it becomes too cold, or you need to set up heaters, or there's all there are all sorts of complications, and uh, it's better to just do this on day two and get the food ready on day three. We're not going to need soup. Right, everything's going fine. A bit late on the hunters, but it'll have to do. All right, we're gonna we we'll only need five of these here, and um, we'll send the, re the rest into the sawmill as soon as these are assigned. better to do 14 hours don't worry too much about the discontent we're gonna um, we're gonna use the tents to keep it down 6 a.m. shut it down yeah almost everyone's in treatment but that's fine pick this up and we can swap these guys into the mill get a bit more wood in we're gonna need this road later I think that's it. Now we're just gonna wait for the beacon and uh, then we're gonna set it up. Alright, this is almost done. Food's nearly there. We're gonna swap out a few from the gathering post once this arrives. Next up, Steam Hub. We're gonna need this if we, are, if we are going to expand our health services, which we will need, as well as to 
keep the um, cookhouse warm. It's gonna be about here. Beacon going up. Alright, let's, uh, we're gonna f need to fire up the generator. Let's build one more of the, no, actually, um, I think we're gonna need, we're gonna need more, um, more of these things, so. Another sawmill for the incoming. I think that'll do. We can start building a few more. Um, do can we? A couple more tents. Yeah, hunter sat first. All right. And uh, once this is finished, we'll send out our guys, and then two more tents, and that'll be it. Right, so I usually leave this just to get a bit more ahead. As you can see these guys moving. For construction, the people actually have to reach the construction site. And um, as this isn't, this doesn't use time, we can get a bit um, of distance before uh, moving back in. All right, let's send out the scouts. Almost forgot. Really, you you sh really must not forget this. This uh, will keep your people healthy, and it is vital that they remain healthy if you want to keep the economy going. And without the economy, you're all going to die. any extra tents one more all right i suppose it should be enough gotta keep the discontent down all right since uh temperature is going down we're gonna have to keep the generator going all the time in order to keep the medical post open so a couple of workers in here to prevent um, them from eating raw food which would be bad and we'll pull them off the sawmill, put them in here, and we'll see what happens with the rest of them in the morning. This isn't going to get built, so cancel. Going to have to dismantle this at some point. This is unbelievably annoying, but I suppose we're just going to have to take it. I don't know why engineers are picked as number one builders. It's just idiotic, but there you go. All right, finish this up and get to work. All 
Alright, no more cooking for now. Uh, let's put our new workforce to work. First though, we're going to need to go for the sturdy shelter. There's food there and at the moment we just can't... Dismantle this. Medical post. It's gonna, I'm gonna need to build the child shelter. Do not, under any circumstance, break any promises. It is not inadvisable. Anyway, um, initially these guys bring very little food and they need a lot of workers to get that so for 15 workers they bring 11 food each of your guys eats 0.5 food per day raw food assuming you can cut it cook it which means that if you want to feed 115 people you need uh, say 60 right 55 that means you need 75 workers to feed these guys we don't even have 75 workers so initially this is a problem but, well, fortunately, there's food nearby, which we can use to tie the sower until we get uh, hunting tactics. Which we will get right now. Hunter's gear, sorry. Alright, steam hub to keep everything warm over here. This will allow us to cook, which is somewhat important. Alright, I'm going to allow this shift to end till 8pm, then I'm going to send them in for more hunting, we're going to need more food. Alright, we can promise this as, as the uh, food is coming in. PM hit the overdrive and more hunters. Now, as forty-five people are actually out hunting, they can't actually they can't help us build, which means we got ten are here, another forty-five are out there. That's and twenty are prohibited from working. So. Yeah, that's 65 down, minus 20, 30. So we're down to 30 actual capable builders, which uh, is a bit of a problem. But should be enough. Just enough. And uh, don't forget the child shelter. All 
Alright, I think we can do one more. Maybe two. Alright, this worked out better than I expected. As the temperature is going down, the number of sick is going to go up, which means we're going to need more, um, more sick beds. We don't have quite enough engineers to run all of this, so we're going to have to skim off the top a bit. Alright, now we probably should take sustain life immediately just so we can uh, go for extra rations for the ill. If you're really good, and I'm not really good, I'm not actually good enough to go without sustain life. You want to keep these things that um, increase hope for later, but um, yeah, w I think we're gonna have to go into this. I, I haven't been able to go without it so far, so let's just take it. Shut down the overdrive. Bit of a problem on the coal side, but should be enough, I think. Yeah, we're good enough. Alright, so we're going to need wood. We're going to need it to upgrade um, the drawing boards. That's a lot of wood. So maybe... Nah, there's nothing. Fine. Alright, that's 100 food. Now there's an observatory here, but um, we're not going to go there. We're just going to bring back the food and then move on. We're going to leave the um, observatory for the second round. I think I, I don't think I'm forgetting anything. Though there, we could build more roads now, actually. Can we afford this? I'm not sure. Now we can't afford it. All right, we're gonna have to juggle this a bit. That's 50 wood for the drawing boards. Anything beyond that is a um, bonus. Alright. With um, 
hunting gear we now we now produce 16 with 15 workers which almost brings us to as much as we need so that's 48 yeah, so it'll be fine All right, now we still got sick out here, so if we just pull a few more from here, we can put them in here and um, keep them, get them covered. Better than nothing, though. At fifty percent, they're gonna, they're gonna need a long time to recover. All right, we got one more slot in here. We're gonna fill it in, fill it in with a tent, and that should be it until we get more men. Ah, great food. All right, back you go. Is there anything else I'm forgetting? I don't think so. Okay. Actually, since we now have... Hmm... Well, this is wrong. Hmm. Why does it... Why is it... Hmm. Unusual. Alright. It's wider than it's supposed to be, I think. I'm not entirely sure why. Maybe I, maybe I put this in the wrong spot. I don't think so, though. Ah, crap. Alright, I'm gonna have to tear all of this down eventually. That ain't good. I messed up. Okay. These are supposed to be one further up. Well, no, nothing I can do about it now. this it's not going pretty it's not going very well at all actually um, I mean it's fine I guess moving this is gonna be a pain Right, that's dealt with now. Hmm. All right, this uh, coal will r run out eventually, so maybe the road's wrong, though. Of course, so we're gonna have to build from this side, like so.
stop road construction when the sawmill has priority. So just cancel that. All right, that'll do. And the medical post guys will go. We'll go build it while we acquire more wood. Never three days without a 14 hour work shift? No, 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 no. That's an entire shift worth 12 hours of work. Pass. It's quite a discontent hit, but you're gonna have to live with it. More scouts. Lower this content a bit and um, give us a bit more time to build. I mean, there's only two of them, but you know. Even if you want to dismantle it, spread, it's better to bring it back and dismantle it here. I'll get more resources that way. But I don't see why you'd want to dismantle it. Alright, that's uh, decent, I suppose. Alright, do not allow this. Immediately act and get the capable engineers in here. You need the research. You can't afford 20% losses. I don't, you know, it would be nice if you could tell certain buildings to have higher priority for labor, but it is what it is. These guys, engineers, will come in very handy. Turn this off. Thing is, if I leave this here, it's gonna mess up my construction later. Tear down.
All right, no more loss until uh, Winter Home is discovered. That way we can pump the hope with um, the good the good stuff. I mean, I only took this. Uh, yeah, yeah, one in palliative care already. So, yeah, we uh, we need these engineers as soon as possible. All right, you know what? We got enough wood. Get off here. Get to work. Alright, with that done, we're gonna go for hunting tactics to improve our um, to improve our food yield further. We're gonna need it. There we go. Yeah, go get the um go get the food and um the gloomy cave will be last, which is, this is actually very good. This is um, probably the best that we can hope for. We'll get, we'll get the food, and then we'll go back with both of them to, um, as the scouts can die there, and the people moving back on their own can die along the way, and I don't want them to die. Right, get back to hunting. We're gonna need more food, so for the incoming. Yeah, only seven. Ah, oh, come on. forgot about this there's there's a lot of stuff going on it's easy to forget things but it's vital that you don't I think I need some construction done. So at 6 a.m., once um, the people are assigned to their workplaces, the newcomers are going to start building. I need another gathering post over here to collect the steel. Another medical post. And another workshop to improve research speed and that should be enough. And once you're done, get back to work. food
All right, we got one in palliative care, but uh, otherwise it seems we've um, managed fine. So this is effectively part one. I think I'm going to, yeah, day eight. I think I'm going to end the first video here. This is basically high wide open. The um, this guy's going to go work in the coal mine, or the gathering post was the coal. We're going to get the coal back. So that'll be fine. We're housing a decent number of population. This um, hunter sut will secure our food. And uh, yeah, I think this was a good opening. Well, aside from the um, slight error in setting up these hunting huts or lodges or whatever they're called. Um, yeah, I think this was good. All right. Anyway, that was part one, and I'll uh, I'll see you in part two.